two bait deck ground baits that are arguably the biggest sellers in the UK market, and that's Special G Green and Special G Gold. Without doubt, it's uh, my most favourite ground bait of the bait tech range um, due to the fact it's so versatile. You can mix it dry, mix it wet. It's absolutely brilliant. And the most important thing is the fish absolutely love it. Do you think it's because it's got that special ingredient, the GPS 90? How strong and potent and how attractive is that ingredient? I mean, if you took that out, I don't think you'd catch half as many fish as you would do with it. Right. I mean, it's, it's so instant and so effective for all sorts of fish. Although it's immense ground bait for carp, mm all the silvers are eating it as well. Yep, it's devastating for skimmers, absolutely devastating. In terms of fish meal ground bitch, you regard these as obviously the most powerful attractors? The soluble factor of the fish meal is what makes it a really good ground bait. You know, the fish don't have to like digest it so quickly, it's soluble straight away and it's, you know, really impressive stuff. You can watch carp come back to a, a certain place where your special G gold or green has been and they could, they've eaten all the ground bait and basically they still come back to it because they can still smell it in the area because it's impregnated into the silt, into the, the water area, and they just come back for it. These quite technical terms that we've, we've been talking about, GPS 90, I think, does that affect the way that you, you use it and the way you mix it? No, it, it doesn't have any adverse effect on what you do with the ground bait. If you, if you mix it as you would mix normal ground bait, it becomes just a complete food source for the fish. I'm just gonna use a 50-50 mix today, just uh, one bag of green, one bag of gold is because obviously there's a mostly gold and there's a little bit of green in there, so we've got to blend them both together. So what we're going to do is just going to mix the dry ingredients together straight away, right. and then we're going to add some water to get the perfect mix. As with all the other anglers you're using, you're all using big round buckets. How important is that? You've got to have loads and loads of surface area to mix your ground bait in. Big buckets, big ground bait bowls. You cannot mix ground bait properly in a little tub. You've got to get your hands in there, you've got to get the water distributed evenly amongst the mix and you've got to get some air into the ground bait right. as well, mm. which is what uh, the reason a lot of us now use uh, electric uh, whisks. I'm quite a purist in the way I do like to use my hands sometimes because you get to have a feel what the ground bait consistency yeah. is as you're adding little bits of water. Yeah. It, it becomes second nature for you to feel it as you, as you mix it with your hands. When you mix ground bait pro properly, it works every single time. You don't want any dry patches in the middle of corners so, of buckets. Exactly, no corners. No corners, because if you get a, a dry patch of ground bait, it can completely affect the, the way that your ground bait's gonna work through your session. Sure. Put both bags of ground bait dry into a bucket, blended them together, so it's a nice evening mix. Got a bucket of lake water and a bait tub. The best thing to do is add a little bit at a time. Blend the water into the dry mix. Really get your hands in there, really work the ground bit around, get the water evenly distributed so there's no dry patches at all and no wet patches. After you've dropped the first one in, just check the consistency. You see there, that's just a little bit dry. You're going to add another little bit of water. Just evenly mix the ground bit around again. Try and get all the little dry patches off the bottom of the bucket. Right, I'm just going to check that again. Mix seems about right now. Leave it for 10 minutes so all the water absorbs into each particle. Set some gear up, come back to it and see if we need to add any more water. The water's absorbed into all the particles, so we need to add a little bit more water. But remember, not too much because it won't need a lot more water. Right, so there we go. Now the mix is virtually perfect. Holds together nicely and then breaks up straight away when you rub it through your hands.